George Square. It's been Brisbane's city heart for decades. This week, workers will begin demolishing it for a new modern meeting place. To many of us, this beautiful building is a reminder of our rates or our electric light bill. Turn back the clock and traffic flowed in front of City Hall. Ratepayers stepped up to visit council. Every day, Mr Brisbane walks this wide stairway on municipal affairs and often for entertainment. When King George V died in 1936, Brisbane built a square in his honour. But in 1968, everything was dug up. The city needed a big underground car park. Car ownership was rising and the city was sprawling. When construction finished, a new look King George Square was built on top. Back then, fountains flourished. Water must be used to cleanse and decorate cities. Fountains create a sense of coolness and soften the harsh lines of steel and concrete. In 1975, Clem Jones revamped the space for Brisbane City Council's 50th birthday. Even more water features were added. Thirty years later, in 2005, all fountains were emptied due to the drought. For the past two years, the square's been a mess as the busway was built underneath. And finally, this week, construction starts above ground on the new-look King George Square. Costing $27 million, it'll be finished in July next year as a part of Queensland's 150th birthday celebrations. The square will feature an amphitheatre and observation deck with a restaurant below. There'll be granite and basalt pavers, but no grass. I think it's uh, going to be special. I think it's going to be controversial. Uh, it certainly will attract a lot of attention. Next week, the old surface will be jackhammered away. If only this pavement could talk. Political and civil struggles have been fought here. It's Brisbane's holy ground. God bless you all, all the citizens of Brisbane. A place to celebrate team victories. <laughs> and Olympic feats. The bulk of the crowd that had packed the Queen Street Mall has now moved across to King George Square. Developers aren't sure what they'll find underneath. Well, that's going to be very interesting. I mean, there's been, this is a, a reasonable history, obviously, to this square, and there's been changes over the years, and really, we're not too sure. And when it's all finished, King George will again rule over the square. But for now, barricades shroud the square just like they did 40 years ago when shoppers sneaked a peek at progress. Well, the city's always changing, so I imagine this will do us for 40 to 50 years and a future administration will probably give us the next version.